Hello, all. So we are now welcoming Riku Peta uh, with a web developer and a team leader at uh, the Juviska University in Finland. And uh, Riku Peta, of course, is a long time contributor in, in the plant community uh, and uh, doing a lot, uh, very dedicated to the community. And today we're going to talk about um, the new plant.org, which has been built on uh, plant six. So, Riku Peta. Uh, thank you, Eric. Uh, okay, so it's really good to be here at Plon Conference 2021. And, and today I'm going to discuss about our plans for a new Plon.org, which would be built on Plon 6. And uh, shortly, my presentation today, uh, I will discuss. Uh, Plon Communications and Marketing Teams plans to renew the Plon.org site. And, but to do that, we need to first look at the older Plon sites and the history of Plon.org. Uh, the current site, what we have, I will shortly discuss about our challenges with the current site and the new site, and then what possibilities we could have with uh, Plon6. And lastly, this uh, is also a call to action to whole plant community that uh, there's a, this big fancy goal and uh, we can hopefully do that together. So uh, usually when I'm at plant conference, I've been uh, representing a university of Uvascula, Finland, uh, but, and that's my day job still. But uh, today I wear my cape and, and, and hood and uh, talk about my nightly job as a, a uh, team member of a uh, plant communications and marketing team. And already thanks to all the team members who have contributed to uh, this work and this presentation. And uh, let's look at the history of plant.org. Uh, so, so many years ago when the first version was published. Um, so this is uh, plant.org 2002 from uh, web archives. Uh, dot com. So it's built on Plone 1 and it looked like this. So it's a Plone site uh, of Plone.org and uh, it has links to download. It tells what Plone is. Uh, there are some events and also a t shirt shop available already at that time. Uh, then, November 2002, it was slightly more polished maybe a newer version of Plone 1, uh, top navigation, site navigation. Already some, uh, some user has said that, wow, Plone is amazing. And there are some, some videos on the front page, which is nice since videos are, are pop today. Um, moving on to maybe 2005, this is Plone 2, still kind of looks the same. Uh, this version of Plone.org has um, more links and, uh, and more text and, uh, well, also some, some images, uh, but it's listing the Plone features. And there's also foundation tab and documentation, so more stuff to, to this site. Um, here's an example of uh, Plone.org with Plone 3 version, still kind of looks the same. And here's an example of a product site, products uh, tab with add-on downloads and such. Uh, this kind of feature we don't have at the moment, so it's lost in time. Um, and here, here's a good example of a, a, a good Plone.org site. Uh, it tells what Plone is. Uh, it tells you how to get Plone and how to learn Plone and how to get involved maybe the four most important things about Plon itself. And also highlighting a nice community event at that time. So, and in the bottom there are the features highlighted. So good example. Um, then I came up with this news item from 2008 and uh, discussing the Plon.org renewal. And the details here are that uh, the main goals for this upgrade was uh, improved performance and reliability, and maybe preparing for upcoming redesign. 
but kind of technical things in, in, in that upgrade. Uh, during the years, there's also been a blog.net site, uh, which was more marketing oriented. Uh, it had case studies and service provider links and media coverage and stuff like that. So whereas blog.org is uh, and was more aimed towards the community and developers. Uh, going up to 2009, there's Plon 4 based site and uh, the design style of that time with the rounded borders and drop shadow. And there's the emergence of a big banner image and maybe not the carousel, but, but at least the banner. And here another example of Plon 4 version, uh, Plon.org site. Uh, still uh, lots of uh, news and events and, and uh, some information about the community and of course the download links. Um, then going up to the current Plon.org, uh, which is available right now. So it's built on Plon 5. Uh, it was released in to the, published in 2016, this blown.org site. And it's oriented towards the community and developers. Since uh, we did have a, a two site duality, which I will discuss. But um, to show something from the current blown.org, this is still from the front page. Uh, there are news and maybe some useful links, links there. And, and then there are upcoming events, Blown Conference, Next World Blown Day, then some community activity, which is sadly maintained by hand and not maintained at all. So those uh, details in there are false. Um, there's a get started section, which looks kind of different. And uh, there's lots of more stuff uh, in the site like uh, the community section, uh, which is kind of nice. It says that welcome, pleased to meet you. Uh, but then it's just a list of uh, teams and committees. So not that uh, it might improve with a nice image of a happy community. OK, mm, one nice thing about Blown.org and Blown itself is uh, the news archive. So uh, we have kept. Uh, the news archive workable and usable since 2002. <coughs> it's been, <coughs> sorry, migrated, migrated through the different uh, blown versions. And here's an example that the blown one beta one released news item. It's uh, still editable in blown.org if we would kind of want to do something for it. But 19 years, uh, that's some fancy content management for you to keep that content alive for that, that time. Uh, then a few words about Plone.com. So the idea uh, with Plone.com was to separate marketing and community sites like we did back in with Plone.net. Uh, and there are uh, the cons of that uh, is that uh, Plone.com contains actual marketing material. It had case studies, uh, listed the features, uh, nice visual presentation. And it was uh, uh, mostly aimed for Plone 5 version. So since then, we haven't done much to that site. And uh, the site also had uh, some documentation and clips and something else, but uh, they have since been removed. The problems with Plone.com was that uh, it was kind of hard to manage the content, which is ironic since it's a content <laughs> management system site. Um, also updating and uh, maintaining two sites is uh, twice the work. And uh, it might create some confusion that uh, should I use Plone.com or Plone.org? So uh, we discussed about this for some time and, and this year came to the solution and decision that the uh, should be removed and it's now removed. So it's not there anymore. We, we are going to go to one site. 
But uh, there are sections of Plone.com that should go to Plone.org still. So we definitely need to work on that. And about the current Plone.org site, there are problems. Um, there are some sections where through the web editing is missing. Some uh, sections and elements are hard to maintain and edit. Um, there are some missing style elements due to old customizations. And even if you could develop the theme, it's kind of hard after a long, long pause. So, so those kind of technical problems. There are good things and you can maintain many sections, but not all of those easily. Uh, maybe most importantly, Plone.org doesn't represent what Plone is today in 2021, uh, and that is Plone 6 and the future. So our suggestion is to renew Plone.org. We want to showcase what Plone is today, and uh, we want to make it easy to use, easy to update, uh, and we want to use our own migration tools so we can learn and improve those. Importantly, we will need to eat our own dog food. So uh, we're going to use Plone 6 and find out what needs to be improved and uh, hopefully push development forward from that. And also visual overhaul is needed and some content management. So these kind of uh, big areas. Uh, are inside this renewal process. Okay, but uh, it sounds kind of hard and not, not so simple. Can we do all this? Um, <laughs> we can certainly, yeah, we can do it. So, uh, and here are 10, 10 steps uh, how to make it happen. So we need a rough plan, uh, not so rough plan as I have here, but maybe a little more uh, a little better. Uh, then we need to aim for a certain time frame, pushes the work forward. Uh, we need to have a new testing site where we can uh, test and build things on Plone 6. We need to do the migration and uh, still learn about the migration, what way is better. We will need to create a design for the site and especially for the content. Uh, we will need to work on the content uh, create new main sections, new front pages. We'll need to think of the navigation with Plone 6 and of course test it many times on the preview site or testing site or whatever we have. And we can do this by organizing sprints. That's one way which I will talk about more later. And one main idea is to plan for version updates in sync with Plone 6 versions. So we should keep Plone.org up to date with Plone 6 versions. These kinds of main points here. Uh, good news is that the communications and marketing team has already done part of the job, not all of it, but part. So we've been reorganizing news and, and other content, uh, tacking items, uh, taking away old stuff, uh, and improving content all, every way. There are image improvements, image cropping, theming improvements, learning from that. Uh, new plo what is Plone section and Plone 6 info. And also we have kind of figured out the content and information architecture of the current site and of Plone.com. So we now know uh, what needs to be added and. Uh, uh, what are the sections that work and what especially needs improving. So this kind of stuff already done. All right, cool. Uh, we of course need a, some kind of plan or hopefully a good plan. So we start with the rough plan, uh, aim for a time frame, uh, talk about the migration and about the testing site and uh, about uh, maybe how to improve and keep the site up to date in the future. And as this is hopefully a community effort, we will definitely publish the plan and uh, let you discuss about it and then iterate it further. Uh, then about the 
meaning and the aim of uh, Blown.org. What to highlight in that site? So, what is Blown? What is Blown? The software, the software family, what we have there. Uh, then we want to highlight Blown 6, the new version, the features there, and how you can get it running, how you can use it, how you can test it, um, and so on. But also another important thing is this whole Blown community. As we have learned also in this, um, in this conference that the community has an amazing power and friendliness. So that's what we want to highlight. Uh, there are other, other things too, like, like news and events and uh, important links and, uh, this, and the foundation and teams and history and contact information and maybe something else. And that's also something that we want to open for discussion. Um, the target audience. Uh, traditionally, Blown.org has been targeted towards the community, the users and developers. But uh, we definitely want to, now that we don't have Blown.com anymore, we want to have uh, new potential users and highlight Blown features for them also. And then new developers. With uh, Plon 6 and Volto, we have had new rising developers coming to the community and we want to serve them too. And maybe there's some target audience that we haven't thought about yet. So that's also up for discussion. Uh, okay, moving on to one important aspect or idea behind this Blown.org renewal. So we do it with Blown 6. And uh, as you probably uh, today saw in Timo Stollenberg's great keynote, um, you should definitely check it out. That Plone 6 is something, something really else for this uh, this decade, since it combines the all the features and stability and scalability and and security with an enterprise CMS, with a totally new front end built on modern web technologies. So so that is definitely something. And yeah, there's the keynote. Check it out. And here's a, one example of a Plon 6 site is the Osaka University from Japan uh, with a nice, I don't know, crocodile mascot or something like that. But it's built on Plon 6 already. So, so we can do it too. But uh, one idea is to keep Plon.org as close to out of the box Plon 6 as possible but still make it fancy and nice. So, uh, so I'll give you a couple of reasons. Um, first, it reduces the need for special theming and theme customization and design. We just take Plone and, and use it as it is. And Plone 6 and Volta Frontend already has lots of great add-ons and uh, so-called blocks and where we ha can have these fancy carousels, which are marketing-wise maybe awful, but someone might want to use use them but the idea is that Plone 6 already does all this and when we use out of the box features and available add-ons we stay true to what Plone is when you take it out out of the box so this is what you get what you see is what you get and it has worked worked well before with uh, Plone.org so if we look at Plone.org 20 years ago it was Plone uh, as you as you get it, so and, and there are all the important things that you might want to need for a, a good website. And Plone Six today, uh, it kind of thematically and uh, themingly, <laughs> I don't know if there's a word like themingly, but but it, it reminds uh, of a uh, Plone. Uh, from the years back and it's still modern and uh, still great for the years to come. So that's the idea. Using Vanilla Plon 6, but we definitely need help and work with the content design. So how are we going to make the front page look awesome? Um, how are we going to highlight the great Plon features? 
uh, with just text or maybe with just uh, with uh, with nice images and uh, icons. Should there be some CSS effects and transitions to make it like pop somehow? And what will the front page and main sections hold? So uh, we will definitely need some help with the design and graphics. Uh, also a testing site um, where we can do stuff, try stuff and create stuff and use it in the production later. And that's where we need help too. All right, migration, uh, probably a big thing, hopefully not that big a thing, since we already have tools for migration. And uh, one thing is that we wanna keep plone.org as a testament, living testament uh, to plone's ability as a content management system. So let's keep that blown one beta release news item for the next 10, 20 years there too. And it's gonna be a learning experience when we use our own migration tools in our most important site. Help please. Uh, okay, then content work. Um, front page, main sections using uh, Volta blocks there. We definitely want to highlight blown features. We want to show uh, latest blown use cases, not use cases from 10 years ago, but the latest ones, the success stories, uh, the sites that use blown, stuff like that. And that's where we need help. We need to go through the migrated content, maybe take out some really old stuff that we don't need. And when we keep the old, old stuff there, we just put it somewhere that it doesn't mess with the new ones. And uh, I've heard that kids today like videos, so maybe we could have some video content on Plone.org, uh, or at least uh, Plone 6 uh, screencasts. Uh, that would definitely easily demonstrate the features. Um, okay, one way to work on this is uh, organized prints. And uh, we will definitely schedule upcoming online sprints. Hopefully have a, a sprint in real life, maybe, but at least uh, online. And uh, we thought that we could do this every month, starting from uh, December and then January and, and so on. So maybe one weekend, a couple of hours here and there, and but, but keep the uh, wheels rolling. And the first print on the new Plon.org is uh, this weekend on the Plon conference. Uh, details coming later, but uh, see you there. Um, okay, perfect. Um, to sum up, so the goal is to renew Plon.org in 22. Would be nice. This year would be nicer, but maybe next year is uh, is nice enough. And we can do this by using Plon6 out of the box. So that's the second main idea. But we can't do this without the help of a Plon community. So help wanted definitely. And yeah, this is a call to action. Uh, we need lots of discussion uh, and maybe steering to the right way uh, on how to do certain things and, and what to show and and what to tell and what other audience and so on uh, we need te technical help we need design help um, and we need help with the content work the blown communication marketing team will definitely be hands down on this work uh, from now on so so we will like uh, do this together and maybe some more help is needed also. Okay, uh, almost a final word. So in here, so uh, next steps, we will provide an info page to sum up this vision and plan. Uh, we will also put out a community post of the same information, but uh, there's gonna be a, a web page where we can all, all always uh, like point people to. 
Uh, there's going to be a shared planning document uh, for ideas and, and discussion. There's going to be a discussion channel in Discord uh, with a join link where we can continue this discussion. There are going to be those scheduled sprints with the events on plon.org so you can easily find out when the sprints are. We will provide contact information if you want to talk with us. Uh, there's going to be a GitHub issue list so we can list the issues on this renewal and information how you can contribute. And um, also an open space discussion this Friday. So please uh, let me and let us hear what you think about this, this plan and how we could best move forward. Okay. Yeah, that was it for my part. So thank you, everybody. Well, thank you very much, Rebecca. Uh, um, very nice talk. I, I take the opportunity to thank you for all the work you're doing with the marketing team. That's, that's great. That's uh, very much needed and super important for Plum on as a product, as a community, as everything. So yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it was nice to, to have you. I think um, we will move to the Jitsi meeting. And if you're there, so I'm gonna stop the streaming now. Bye.